Good. Hey guys, welcome to Blade Show 2022. We are here with Anders from Heli Knives. How are you doing today? I'm pretty good today, yeah. Good to see you. It's Saturday at Blade Show is always good. You're Here's still here and we're having a great day. So I wanted to talk with you really quick. Uh, we were chatting with Anders the other day, uh, yesterday, uh, about this special knife right here. He told us a quick backstory uh, on how he designed it and where, you know, where the inspiration came from. And so it was such a great story. I was hoping that you could tell us really quick, you know, where it all came from. You don't have to tell the whole deal, but you know, just the gist of it. Like, it's such a great, great story. Well, it's so. not, it's not a short story. It's a bit of a it's a bit of a story. But this this product we started. Uh, designing uh, quite a few years ago so we uh, the thing is I was in South Africa I met up with a crew that specialize in in overland adventures uh, they're called the foot uh, which means footprints uh, they have a, a car garage where they rebuild four-wheel drives and they drive transcontinental journeys all over Africa they uh, we started talking about what kind of knives they use and they wanted to uh, create a, a unique knife specially for them and this is uh, what became of that uh, collaboration. So the knife is called the DD Galgalu and it's called that because of a reason and I'm going to come to that. So while we're sitting there talking about the design and making drawings and blade length and shape of the handle etc the idea comes up for me to join them on a bit of a long weekend somewhere in Africa. They want to show me how they live when they're out with uh, doing uh, wild camping, which is way different from what I'm used to with the fjords, mountains and forests of Scandinavia. Uh, so I head back home to Scandinavia and uh, we start talking over email about when to meet for this long weekend. It's quite a bit to fly down to South Africa, so it better be something good. Oh, yeah. They come back to me and say, oh, well, we, we're running out of time for the weekend, but we're heading off for a long journey from South Africa all the way along what's called the Rift Valley up to through Ethiopia. And they want me to come with them. So I did. And during that trip, I brought knives that had unfinished handles. And then we actually filed them and shaped the handles during the trip in the evenings. Uh, so, I, so I traveled with them for four weeks through nine countries where we developed this, this knife. And we camped out every night, so we stopped the car, drove off the road into the, into the bush, uh, put up a camp, made a fire, and uh, cooked food, and, um, and created a knife. Beautiful. Uh, and that's it. It's a very comfortable knife. Uh, I feel like it's very, you know, when, when you actually go to use this, you have full control of it, um, and it just, it's just a very ergonomical handle, and a lot of love and inspiration obviously went into making this knife. Yeah, it, it is, it is uh, I mean, it's a design and a shape in simplicity. It's not a very complex, uh, it, it is designed for use, first of all. Uh, so the shaping during the trip it was always to get it more comfortable for use. And then, um, so, so anyway, uh, I said the name has a meaning. So I traveled with these people all the way up to Northern Kenya to the desert Didi Galgalu. And then I had to turn back again. Mm. So that's where we named it when it was finished in the end of the trip. Wow. So uh, to totally the, the dr total driving was 15,000 kilometers. So, so it, wasn't, it wasn't just a weekend. It was, uh, yeah, like I said, Almost a month. Andrews, that's fascinating. That's yeah, it was a, a cool, story. cool uh, journey, adventure. So this is not yet available on the American market, right? No, no. So we, the first version of the DD uh, was, a li was live a couple of years ago. Okay. And then uh, we launched this one um, last fall in Japan. But it's been sold out and sold out and sold out. Wow. But now it's coming available for the US market in, uh, I would say, in about a month. So okay. some sometime in... Uh, late June, early July, I would guess it, it is available in stores uh, in the U.S. market. What will the price point be on that? About? I'm not sure it's decided, but I would okay. I would say about hundred two 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 thirty. I would say okay. Yeah, okay. two 
229, 239. Okay, probably yeah. sub 250. Yeah, in the range. it is uh, okay. below 250. That's a very fair price for that. And what, yeah. what steel is it the same as the rest of uh, Heli? Or what do you well, we have a couple of different steels at Heli. This is um, what, no, what most people will say is Sandvik steel. Now, Sandvik has changed name, so there, it's not. Uh, now it's called Alema, so it's a 14 z 28 n steel. Okay. Same, same steel as we use in the Nord knife. Uh, comes with the classic Scandi grind and a 90 degree sharp spine. It's a nice sharp spine on there it, too. It is a really sharp spine. It's a very useful feature. Definitely. So, this is a beautiful knife and uh, I'm looking forward to playing around with this at some point yes. uh, whenever they become available. But, oh, uh, yeah. but thank you. I wanted to just show, tell the world how, uh, what a great story this is and what kind of a beautiful, well, yeah. very useful knife. So. Good. Thank you very much for your time today. Super, and, thank uh, you. And looking forward to doing uh, more like this with you guys in the future. Thanks. So, thank you guys.